ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റിൻ ഇസ് വിച്ച് ഓഫ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ ഫിനോളിക് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് ഓർത്തോക്രസോൾ പാരക്രസോൾ മെറ്റക്രസോൾ ബെൻസൈൽ ആൽക്കഹോൾ സോ ലെറ്റ് സീ ദ സ്ട്രക്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദീസ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട്സ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഓർത്തോക്രസോൾ ഹിയർ ഒ എച്ച് ആൻഡ് സി എസ് ത്രീ ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ആർ ഇൻ വൺ ടു പൊസിഷൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് പാരക്രസോൾ ഹിയർ ദീസ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ആർ ഇൻ വൺ ഫോർ പൊസിഷൻ If these groups are in 1-3 position, this is metacrosol. So this is benzyl alcohol. So this is benzyl alcohol, CH2OH. Here, in these three compounds, OH group is connected to the carbon atom of benzene ring or the carbon atom of an aromatic ring. So OH group is directly connected to the carbon atom of an aromatic ring. So these are phenols. But in this case, OH group is connected to this carbon. which is next to the aromatic ring so this is benzylic carbon so this is benzyl alcohol which is not a not a phenolic compound so these three are phenolic compounds this is not a phenolic compound so option d is the answer second question how many alcohols with molecular formula c4h10o are chiral in nature so let's see the different structures possible for this alcohol with the molecular formula c4h10o so this is uh, butanol since there are four carbon atoms so let's see what is the first structure so this is the first possible structure so this is butan 1 ol this is butan 1 ol then second isomer may be oh group is connected to the second carbon so this is butane butane 2 ol this is butane 2 ol so the third isomer is tertiary butyl alcohol tertiary butyl alcohol or 2 methyl 2 methyl propane 2 ol so these are the three possible structures for this particular molecular formula let's see which structure is chiral in nature so for chirality we need to see four different groups are attached to a carbon so four different groups are attached to a carbon which is a chiral carbon and that molecule is chiral in nature so here there is only one carbon which is connected to four different groups so this carbon is actually chiral because there are four groups four different groups are attached to this particular carbon so this is chiral carbon and this molecule is chiral in nature so there is only one uh, possibility so the answer is option a that is one so in the other two cases we cannot see a chiral carbon so in this case uh, two hydrogen atoms are connected so there are similar groups but in this case cs3 groups three different uh, three similar groups are attached to this carbon so this is not chiral so the only possibility is with butane 2 ol so there is only one chiral molecule then question number 3 the iupac name c6h5 ch2 ch2 oh so oh group is attached to this carbon so this is the first carbon this is the second carbon and this is the phenyl group so the name is 2 phenyl 2 phenyl then two carbon atoms are there so it is ethanol 2 phenyl ethanol 2 phenyl ethanol so option b is the answer now let's see the the fourth question the compound which show metamerism is first one is c4h10o second one is c4 c5h12 and third one is c3h8o fourth one is c3h6o let's find out the functional group or let's see the structure so this is actually ch3 ch2 o ch2 ch3 so this is an ether so this is an ether so this is an alkane and this is ch3 ch2 o ch3 so again this is an ether so in this case this is ch3 ch2 cho so this is an aldehyde so actually metamerism is shown by ethers so 
Alkane will not show metamerism and aldehydes will not show metamerism. Ethers can show metamerism. So, with this uh, formula, we can draw one more structure or one more isomer is possible in this case that is CH3, CH2, CH2, O, CH3. So, two arrangements are possible for this particular ether that is with the same molecular formula, different alkyl groups. So, this is ethyl, this is ethyl. So, this is propyl and this is methyl. So, different alkyl groups are uh, arranged on either side of the functional group O. So, this is actually called a metamerism. So, in this case, there is only one arrangement is possible. This is the only one arrangement. So, this will not show metamerism. The only one compound which show metamerism is C4H10O that is option A. Then, the fifth question is COH bond angle is bond angle in alcohol is COH bond angle in alcohol is slightly greater than 108 degree 28 minutes slightly less than 108 degree 28 minutes slightly greater than 120 degree slightly less than 120 degree so in this case we know that there are there are two lone pairs of electrons on oxygen atom actually we are expecting a tetrahedral angle that is 108 degree 28 minutes but due to the presence of these two lone pairs of electrons which is always greater than greater than this tetrahedral angle so option a is the correct answer then let's see question number six ethers are neutral basic acidic amphoteric so ethers actually ethers the structure may be like this so ethers again there are two lone pairs of electrons on oxygen atom the functional group o is having two pairs of lone pairs of electrons so due to the lone pairs of electrons we can say that this is actually a lewis base so this is actually lewis base so this is basic in nature that is option b is the correct answer then for question number seven the bond angle in ethers is greater than 108 degree 28 minutes due to attraction between two bulky groups bulky alkyl groups repulsion between two bulky alkyl groups lone pair bond pair repulsion lone pair bond pair repulsion so here here itself we have seen there are two alkyl groups so two alkyl groups uh, in this either so there is repulsion between uh, these two alkyl groups so due to the repulsion between two bulky alkyl groups the bond angle is the bond angle is greater than 108 degree 28 minutes so option b is the correct answer for question number seven now let's see question number eight Choose the compound which is more acidic than phenol. So, first one is ortho nitrophenol, then ethanol, ortho methyl phenol, ortho methoxy phenol. So, let us see the structure. So, this is ortho nitrophenol, then second one is ethanol, third one is ortho methyl phenol, and fourth one is ortho methoxy phenol. So, in this case, this ethanol is not acidic here these phenols are actually acidic let's see the different groups attached to phenol here it is no2 group here it is ch3 group here it is och3 groups so in this two cases these two are electron releasing groups so ch3 and och3 are electron releasing group but no2 group is electron withdrawing group so no2 group is electron withdrawing group so due to the presence of electron withdrawing group uh, this will be more acidic that means the phenoxide ion formed in this case in this case the phenoxide ion is more stable due to the presence of this electron withdrawing group so NO2 is an electron withdrawing group so this particular molecule is more acidic so which is more acidic than phenol so option A is the correct answer then let us see question number 9 which of the following alcohols will not undergo oxidation easily so actually tertiary alcohols tertiary alcohols resist oxidation so that is the point tertiary alcohol resist oxidation so let us see which is tertiary alcohol butanol so butanol this is actually a primary alcohol this carbon is connected to only one carbon so this is a primary alcohol then second one is butan 2 all so here this carbon is connected to two other carbon atoms directly so this is secondary then third one is 2 methyl butane 2 all 2 methyl 2 methyl butane 
do all so in this case this carbon is connected to 1 2 and 3 carbon atoms directly so this is tertiary so in this case the tertiary alcohol is 2 methyl butane 2 all so this is a tertiary alcohol so that will not undergo oxidation easily so option c is the correct answer then question number 10 aspirin is obtained by acetylation of which of the following compounds salicylic aldehyde salicylic acid acetyl salicylic acid phenol so actually as aspirin is obtained from salicylic acid so salicylic acid is oh group and c oh group these groups are in one two position this is called a salicylic acid which on acetylation here co cs3 group is introduced instead of h we can write co cs3 so this is called a aspirin this is called a aspirin so the starting compound is salicylic acid so for the 10th question salicylic acid option b is the correct answer then question number 11 sodium phenoxide when heated with carbon dioxide under pressure followed by acidification yields sodium phenoxide ona which is heated with carbon dioxide under pressure followed by acidification so actually this is a name reaction this is uh, for the preparation of salicylic acid itself so salicylic acid is formed here so option b is the correct answer this is a name reaction called the kolb's reaction so for 11th question option b is the correct answer 